day for the Bitcoin and Cardano price. Bitcoin and Cardano are doing something absolutely historical today. Bitcoin did what it did today the last time when it was at 800 US dollars and for Cardano actually. Just wait until the very end if you're holding any Cardano. I don't only have crazy news to share. I want to show you something in the charts no one is looking at right now for Cardano. I will include my price targets and much, much more. But let's start with Bitcoin because what is happening actually happening now for Bitcoin? I mean, guys, I am here on the road. I have to do a lot of things. I'm going back to Dubai tomorrow. So I literally have no time, but I am doing this video here from the phone because it is so important. So give me this feedback, smash up the like button to a new all-time high. If you want me to push more of these videos here on the go from my phone, smash it up and leave your favorite icons down below. You already left Cardano down below. So let me cover that here. But towards the end of the video, do not miss out on that. Let me start with Bitcoin. We are starting here on the weekly candles of Bitcoin. So what you can see here is the Bitcoin price action basically within the last, oops, sorry, within the last 11 years. And basically like nearly all the price action only 2009 is missing. And these are the different cycles. I already pointed that out. Every vertical line is the halving and these are the parabolic runs here towards the upside, these um, green boxes. And what I want to focus on today is something actually many people are missing out to focus on. And these that's these orange trend lines. And right now, Bitcoin is actually I, I, I want to come to that later. It is actually retesting this level. I want to come to that later and I want to tell you exactly what it meant for Bitcoin the last time it did that. So stick here with me until the very end, guys. First of all, I wanted to talk about the immediate short term for everyone who is interested in trading Bitcoin. However, be a little bit cautious because the immediate short term is very, very tricky for Bitcoin right now. As you can see here, I was pointing out on Twitter, follow me over on Twitter in the moment, actually, we broke down here. I posted this head and shoulders pattern over on Twitter and I told you, just check it out. Go over to at MM Crypto and you will see it. I told you in the moment, Bitcoin breaks down and confirms the breakout down. This could be a short position. You can see here, this is head and shoulders pattern. We broke down and we confirmed the breakdown. We broke below the previous low and now Bitcoin is bearish just only in the immediate short term. This year is what I want to talk about. This is the price target of the breakdown. I'm not saying we are necessarily going to hit it. It's the technical price target at 53,400 US dollars. However, the important thing is this convergence here. Do you know what this orange long line is? Well, probably not yet, but let me enlighten you on that. Let me go over to the weekly candles and show you actually exactly what I am looking out for Bitcoin right now here, especially in the long run as to what is happening to Bitcoin in the next four months. So once once again, guys, this year are the cycles from the, la the last four cycles, right? In the last 10, 11 years. So let me zoom in. This is the weekly candles. And every single time, I could point that out also for the previous cycles here in 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15. But let me take this one here as an example. So these long, these lines, these orange lines are detrimental to consider whether Bitcoin is going to continue the bull market or whether we are confirming that we are breaking down. So the last time we were in this not all too tilted um, trend line here was actually in April 2017. Well, what is the price exactly, exactly four years ago, considering that we are probably in four year cycles. Very interesting. So we were retesting this trend line here many, many times. The last time we tested it though, Bitcoin just shot up to the moon. We tested it here approximately at the 850 US dollar level. Look on the right hand side. We jumped, got a volume supported bounce and went in the last run towards the upside at a much more tilted, upward sloping tilted trend line here. But the moment we are leaving it, we are going into a new uptrend. The moment we are breaking it, we are going into a bear trend. The same thing works actually for bear markets. Whenever we are breaking the upward sloping trend line. We are going into a bear market being held down by a downward sloping trend line. The moment we break it, we create a new trend line in an upward sloping trend line. The moment we break it, we go into a downward sloping trend line into a bear market once again, just like right here. If you want to call that a bear market was not a new low. Anyways, so this is very easy actually, but um, yet many people are not really talking about that. I personally consider that as very important. And what looks here, like not such a long trend line. Well, this one is already going on for nearly four months. It started in December, right? So we are talking here already about a very mature trend line. So soon, soon, 
The time has come for Bitcoin to either break it to the downside or whether to get a bounce and go into a more, even more parabolic trend towards the upside. So these trend lines are just, it's just a question of time that they are breaking it. So let me go over to the daily candles and you can see how many of these touch points we actually got ever since December, ever since we broke the all time high. Look at this one two, three, I mean, multiple, multiple touch points. And right now, right now with the Bitcoin price actually breaking, this um, inverse head, oh, this head and shoulders pattern, this bearish head and shoulders pattern here towards the downside. Well, if Bitcoin would reach that price target, we would get furthermore another bounce and another decision time as to consider, are we continuing that massive, massive run towards the upside? Are we going to enter a new trend here towards the upside or is Bitcoin actually going to enter a bear market? Well, you probably already know what my guess is, but we are not here for a guessing game or for wishes or for any emotions. We let the charts tell us what to do. And this is right now historical look pay close pay very close attention let me go back pay very close attention to this one specific price level here let me show it to you once again one last time here to that very specific price level pay close attention to the approximately fifty-three thousand dollar level and please plot it on the weekly chart because we can dip below on the four hourly on the hourly even on the daily i want to see a weekly close way below to say okay guys this is a little bit dangerous now. This is a little bit serious, but no signs for that yet. This is just probably a continuation of the bull run, but we have to keep that in mind. If we are getting a volume supported strong bounce from this trend line, well, guys, I can tell you the bulls are probably going to be very happy, including me. So let's talk about Cardano as well quickly. And I wanted to tell you one thing. Let me quickly go back here. I'm in, in the castle. Um, so let me quickly talk about Cardano. But one more thing, guys, if you are not in the Telegram group yet, click the link down below. We have a free Telegram group with like 30 something thousand people. And here you can see I open voice chat sometimes and people can go into the voice chat and make a Q&A with me here. Usually I, it's very hard to talk to you guys here. I can talk to you directly. I had nice conversations over with you in the community. So make sure you join me over there on um, Telegram as well. The link is down below. Make sure you like the video, you subscribe to the that video and you hit the bell button do not miss out on future videos because now i want to be talking about cardano and i will be updating you in the future about cardano as well i know there are a lot of cardano people out there so let's talk about that let me quickly go over here into the cardano price and quickly guys before i talk here about cardano and what's actually happening here this is this is truly something for the history books and everyone involved in cardano will agree with me i will talk about that just in a second but i wanted to remind you guys um, if you want to be trading like me here, this is my trade on Bybit, 9 Bitcoin and a profit, as you can see here in the middle. And there's my trade over on Femex, 2 million US dollars and profit, 36 Bitcoin and a profit. So I'm having these trades open. I am here in the long run, still banking on Bitcoin, actually still being in that uptrend, being in that bull market. So it's not that I'm losing the hope here. I'm just telling you now is decision time, actually. So my trades are open, actually. If you want to be trading as well, before I go into Cardano, go down to the pin comment down below. I have a 700 US dollar welcome bonus for you over there. If you click the links down below in the comment section, you make your account. Takes 15 seconds, 20 seconds or so. Put in your email address and your password after your initial deposit. I think on Bitcoin and 0.2 Bitcoin, you get up to 700 US dollars on these exchanges for free. You can trade with the bonus and with other profits from this free trade as well. So take advantage of that in the pinned comment down below if you are an experienced trader. Let me talk about Cardano because I know there are so many Cardano fans out there. And of course, like when everyone and their mother is shilling it, then well, we could get a little bit cautious for Cardano. At least we have some nice fundamentals behind. And look at this last weekly candle here. Cardano was in a downtrend. And the interesting thing about that is that this last pump here towards the upside was triggered by the Coinbase Pro listing. And if I'm zooming in a little bit, this looks a little bit, if I'm going, for example, to the daily candles, let me go to the daily candles here. You can see, well, maybe Cardano was forming there a small handle bull flag. I mean, you can rather call it a bull flag here. You can see that right there and it's breaking out now. So the question is, are we going above that orange, uh, that yellow line? And what is that yellow line? Let me go back to the weekly candles and show you exactly what that yellow line actually represents. The yellow line is the previous all time high all the way back from January 2018, where we had that massive run towards the upside. This 
um, Altcoin craze, final stage, the final countdown for the bear market um, before we went actually down. Then we had a retest and this happens over and over again. The previous all-time high acts usually as strong psychological resistance for, for Bitcoin and also for altcoins. This happened here. We got the rejection. So, so now the question is, is Cardano... Charles Hoskinson, Cardano themselves, with news, with updates, and um, of course with much more things, and of maybe even with a real Coinbase listing, able to break through here. The news will tell, the news will tell, because the technicals among the all-time high are not all too important. If Cardano is breaking the all-time high, actually closing above, I could imagine that we are going to see... Um, here this cup and tangle or U pattern actually plan out. In the worst case, it's a U pattern still. So if we are breaking above the all-time high, this yellow orange line here looks very small as a price target, but it's a logarithmic scale. So I, what I was doing is I was taking this measurement tool from the bottom all the way to the top. And I took this yellow line and I pulled it over all the way here. And what you can see if I'm zooming in, this price target, in case we would get a confirmed breakout towards the upside, would be, it looks small, but listen, guys, it would be from $1.39 all the way up to $2.73. The reason for that being is that this is a double. This is nearly a double of the current price because Cardano went nearly to zero in the bear market. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this, ladies and gentlemen, is, of course, very interesting. Imagine Cardano doubling from here. They are already on the top three. Well, they would be val valued half of Ethereum or so. Things are getting crazy. Let me know if you are holding Cardano. I am holding Cardano since quite quite some more time here. Um, not as long as maybe some people watching here, but um, I am holding Cardano myself. A small exposure. My biggest one is Bitcoin, 85% or so. Then I have Ethereum. And of course, a small exposure to Cardano, Polkadot, Uniswap, and so on. So let me know down below if you are holding it. Let me know what is your price target for Cardano and for Bitcoin. Thank you so much for watching until the very end. This was a special one. I told you so, guys. I told you so. And um, yeah, I will be back with, um, with you at the next one of MM Crypto very soon. So thank you so much for watching until the end. Thank you so much for uh, liking the video, for subscribing, for making noise for the algorithm. And as always, guys, as always, bye-bye.